Hello everybody, I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome in Parameter. Actually, give me one second. Let's go to Let's Chat. There we go. So, I believe we were just at Oops All Bonus Dungeons. I don't even know if we're going to end up doing any plot today. I think we saw there were like 10 or 11 dungeons we could go to. I think four of them are plot related. So in theory, we might not do a single plot related dungeon today. So I guess with that, we'll, we'll go ahead and pause. And launch the game. I'm going to do that thing where it's a long disc again. I don't, I have to say, I don't like how Bishawk switches this because it, it doesn't seem to remember what disc I should be on most of the time. It'd be kind of annoying. I'm now trying to remember how to get it to go to the one that I wanted to. Give me. Here somewhere. Let's see if that works. I might have to reset it. Oh, yes, one. Oh, oh, I see. Like that, that one was technically a PS1 scene. Technically, I was like, wait, <laughs> that's the cable version. Let's see. Did it go to the right disc? Let's find out together. That big pause as it tries to load like a simple menu drives me wild. I'm like, oh my gosh, should it crash every time? What is it loading? Crazy. So I believe we were going to go south from Guild Galad, and I was going to go counterclockwise. I believe that's what I mentioned last time. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. There's something I wanted to check first. Uh... I did try leaving down there, but I got confused because my orientation with this game is different every time we play. So I just have no concept of how to navigate these towns and be real with you. I talked to him. I want to see if we get any special cutscenes. Let's see. Gilgalon Master says, You refer to how we lured away that nuclear dragon? Merely reap what we had sown. There's no reason to show us thanks. It is I who should thank you. Apologize for the trouble we caused. Alright, so that's fine. Coming in here doesn't do anything. Then I gotta load up my notes in a second. Okay, so I'm not seeing any immediately obvious cutscenes. I wanna try one thing. I wanna look at the fossil that's like right at the beginning of town. And then I'll see if I wrote any additional notes for myself before we continue. A moment as I open notes. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. Let's see, we still don't have anything to do with the boss symbols. Glad you're doing well.
We should have like a million places to go to. Hmm. Oh. Actually, there's one thing I wanted to... I forgot. There are character-specific cutscenes. I want to try talking to them one more time. But with somebody they would know. Nothing new here. How about you? Okay, there we go. I knew it. I was gonna say, I felt like some of- I felt like some of these people should have had something unique to say. So, okay, so let's go back to Noel. Hello, Bashley. Perfect timing. By experimenting on a live dragon. Created full clip, a device that transfers the user's telepathic strength to an arm. Somewhat difficult to control, but I'm sure you could handle it, Bashley. One thing to keep in mind is that it discharges every round in your arm when activated. Also, how powerful it is depends on your arm's remaining ammo count when you equip it. Here, take it. Worst full clip acquired. So, that's kind of annoyingly hidden. It's one of those things where I talk to them that I just talk to them with the wrong person. I don't know, Chad. I I wish they had mentioned, like, do you, like, have you seen Bashley? I have something I'm gonna give them. Is what they should have told me, and that I would have been fine with that. That's like, whatever. I guess we're good now. I, I don't even know if we'll honestly end up using it at all, because I don't see the point in using the protagonist so far. Him using full clip might make him more useful, but isn't it, like, his last ability? Or second to last? If we gain, like, 14 levels, I would consider it. Because currently that would allow us to... Potentially do a lot of damage with shot weapons, so it gives us kind of a backup. So for items where I accidentally put too many bullets, that's fine. For now, let's go dungeon hunting. Crimson Castle, we'll start here. For a bit. Hmm. Anything else I want to do? Have anything written down? Yeah, this all gives them like every dungeon for real. Here. There's a door up here, I guess, though. Hmm. Oops. Hello, combat. You are Vermilion. See if she does enough damage to one-shot them. That's easy. Items immediately down there. I guess I'll go acquire them. Or a respite. I don't want those. They're okay. Book is written in a strange language. It's indecipherable. Can she read it? Nope. Thank you, Calvisha. Nobody can read the book. It's okay.
to come from the northern exit to do something? Okay. I swear, chat, if those are just were spites, I'm gonna get so annoyed. You have no idea. I really don't want to do, like, this one-way loop just to pick up, like, a consumable. And they're far enough apart, I'm not sure I could grab both of them. Of course, it's a war respite. Man, the items in this dungeon are terrible. Of course, they put it out of reach. Hope you're doing well, Chris. I'm preemptively shaking my head. I know the game is about to disappoint me. Of course it is. I had a feeling when the other two chests were War Respites that I think almost every chest is going to be War Respites, sadly. So now let's try to figure out where I open up that other passageway. Also, I'm noticing I'm not given the chance to dodge encounters, which really sucks. What are you? Red Barney? Well, time to perish. First the Hutchable encounter. I hope I don't need to go to the other one first. They don't even go anywhere. Everything just kind of like goes to balconies for no reason. Fine, what does this even do? Oh, it's just a one and done. I can't hit it again. I think I moved the stuff down there, maybe? If she just uses left edge, is this good enough to get a kill? I would love to know that for saving time. Is this good enough? No. Right, so I do have to gaddling it for her to kill. Wow, Thesaurus still outspeeds, that's crazy. save point here. Hmm. 
I wonder if we'll come across uh, the bonus character in this dungeon. Aren't they related to Crimson something or other? Ah, uh, but that... Oh, there's yet another switch. Where was this switch? I have to really go back for that? That is so annoying. So it was up and to my left. Right. For some reason, they just don't let you cross over. That would have made too much sense. probably walk by it because I couldn't see the door because of the camera. This is the one we already did, right? I'm just hoping if we play Wild Arms 3, they really fix the camera issues. I don't even think I saw that. No, I didn't see it from here. I'm not sure how these people live in this castle. This just seems like a really inconvenience, inconvenience thing to do. Unless they just fly everywhere, then I guess that would make some sense. Oh, it toggles this set of switches? Or no, it doesn't. Never mind. Nothing. Uh, how do I get back to there? Do I really have to? Oh, I think I do have to go the long way around. That's kind of annoying. I go like all the way over here. Oh, wild arms. I I will not miss your puzzles. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, chat. Listen, I wanted it to be more like Mystic Quest where it was like fast movement. I don't know. Hopefully they fix things in the next game. To darkness this path does lead. He who is from the land of the sun must leave it. Even if life is to him is dear. Uh, I mean, they're setting it up like I'm fighting a vampire. Fools, mistake not foolhardiness for bravery. Know thou are headed down the path to darkness. Okay. I think what hurts this game significantly, why do we not have an escape spell? King of the Dark World has ruled Phil Gaia since time immemorial. Get that noise down. Where do you think you are? Ah, Bashley and company. They know you were making that noise. So it brings you here. Surely the time of promise has not yet come. Hey, what is Gremlin doing here? This is where I heard the legendary immortals supposedly live. We are the immortals. Crimson Nobles, supreme species of Felgaia. Okay, it was Crimson Noble. We are the absolute true one and only rulers of Felgaia. Oh, brother, what a windbag. I never knew the Crimson Nobles really existed. Well, the legendary Lord Blazer is living inside Bashley. The idea of Crimson Nobles still living in Fulgaia any weirder. Well, what do you want, Bashley? Surely you did not come to chat. As you say, the time of promise has not yet come. But Fulgaia now faces the most serious threat in its history. Yes, the Coupier Belt. Not even Lord Blazer could stand up to the might of the Coupier Belt. That's why I need you to fight our on our side, Gremlin. As you once fought with Anastasia. We're fighting to save Filgaia. Will you join us? 
Hmm. For Sodessa and Kupier Belt, why must such evil attack our beloved Fulgaya? As Fulgaya's true rulers, we will tolerate no more of this outrage. Putting my foot down now. But I'll have you know, I'm only doing this because it's my duty as supreme species to protect Fulgaya. We simply have a common objective. Otherwise, a proud crimson noble would never help you lowly humans. Do not forget that. Whoops, almost forgot this. Tool Electel acquired. Electel zaps anyone in front of you when you press square. I see you're still using that pathetic map scope of yours, huh? Out of pity for you, we'll use a bit of lost technology to give it a cute but exciting upgrade. Don't look so skeptical, just leave everything to us. I'll show you how the Guild Galad technology can't even hold a candle to ours. <laughs> Please teleport me out of here. They are all finished. How's that for a nice power-up, huh? <laughs> what do you mean it looks the same? Amateur. Now you can view the map scope while in transit by projecting the image onto your retina. Kremlin was a fitting name, kind of, yeah. I honestly don't know what that did, but that's fine. So she came in at level 36, so her health total is going to be terrible. Her sorcery is also pretty bad. It read power from enemy single. Uvale? Is that what that is? Powerful mole type attacker? What the heck is this? She's got really bad stats? Why would I use this character? She's got high magic resistance, but like, kind of it. I guess I'll give her mittens. Like, even if I give her stat ups, they're just kind of bad. I guess, actually, before we go, well. Wow, that game was being very finicky with me there. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... Let's give her skills... And then I will... Temporarily place her in the party. I still don't know what her tool does. It's not what I thought it would do. See if this works. Is her speed at least fast? No. Man, why is she so painfully average? Like, this is just so sad. Imagine not outspeeding the slow character in our party. I mean, I guess I'll give her this so she has some speed. I guess. So that reminds me. Okay, so we did use the crest caps. Hmm. I mean, is there even a point to upgrading his weapons? I don't think so. Hold on to our money. Poor Bashley. I don't even want to use you anymore. I'm assuming she's a magic attacker. We'll give her one point in melee up. Make her a little more defensive. See yeah, how this goes. So if I do have to melee attack with her, at least she does some damage to build meter. So I'm assuming she steals enemy skills. Also, that running animation.
let's try reading the books that are in this castle. See if she gets anything interesting. Yeah, just figured in case we accidentally level her somehow between now and the other area. The book entitled Human Potential. How amazing humans are, despite their short lives and weak bodies, they suppress us in imagination. Lacking both sharp claws and fangs, humans are the weakest of creatures in the natural state. Yet indomitable in spirit, they master flight and magic. Most amazing of them all is the Sword Magus, who wields the Guardian Blade Argot Long. This one has fought the demon who ate our brethren. She compels a reassessment of human potential. Okay. Book entitled Excessive Power. Foolish are the humans. They seek excessive power that will lead them down the path of destruction. They ignore the knowledge we have bequeathed them and instead pursue errant ways. They murder each other. They think only of destruction. Why? Why do they not realize their foolishness? Are they inferior creatures after all? Humans, cease your destructive ways before it's too late. I don't know why she would write a book like that. Insolent ones, let's read it. Humans are indeed insolent beings. They desecrate the ruins left by our brethren. Such sacrilege is deserving of death. We we'll steal the humans a crushing blow to punish them and demonstrate our strength. Oh, was there more than one set of books? The Guardians. The Guardians are godlike beings who protected Fogaius since ancient times. Perhaps beyond the strength and abilities even of us crimson nobles. They banned physical form to become pure consciousness. Power should have lasted forever. But at some point the Guardians grew weak and they ceased to interfere on events in Fulgaia. The power of the Guardians was the source of the consciousness. The vigor of all who lived in Fulgaia. Perhaps it was the humans' negative emotions that eroded and weakened the Guardians' power. Oh no, Chad, it's malevolence. My mic? My mic is like a dog whistle, but instead of dogs, this item summons demons. Many demons summoned by this evil tool then attack the person who uses it. There is one who will show himself only when summoned with this tool. He is of unri unrivaled strength and can destroy anyone. Okay. So her personal item will eventually let us fight demons. I don't know where that is, but we've learned of it. Don't need to move anything there yet. Alright, so now I'm glad we went back. Let's try this way. I am really surprised we have not been in combat. Oops. That was habit. <laughs> Do I want to drop down anywhere? No. Bonk. There we go. I'll do normal melee so I don't kill them instantly. Wow, it only works if I'm injured? Man, why are her skills so bad? That's like unforgivably terrible. I don't even want to stall on this fight because it's poison disease, which is a very annoying combo.
her skill misses oh my gosh bottom tier bottom tier <laughs> actually trash actually trash holy oh i forgot to see if that even did anything what was that red f oh the poison Well, she's going in the unused, unloved category real fast. Rip the war respite that we got. I guess I should have tried to see if this could be used against anything. I'm assuming there's something hidden she could get eventually. The encroaching parallel universe. The universe of the dragons is said to have been completely devoured by another universe. Could one universe truly devour another universe and reduce it to nothingness? How could we resist this peril if we attacked our universe? Again, this just sounds like sweet it in tier Korea's chat. Even the mighty dragons fled when the peril attacked their world. Not even the once powerful guardians could assure our safety. How one can fight to say nothing of defeat. The universe? Manual for the model P. Abinabra te telepathically controlled attack devices. This prototype was created by Meister Anastasia. Tech power could be boosted by inserting a mecha boost into the expansion slot. Applications include everything from disciplining children to Operation Genocide. That's quite a range. T book entitled The Organo Organo Mechanical Beings. On Philgaia, there's a unique species that differs from all others on the planet. They are the dragons, a fusion of machine and living flesh. Defy traditional definitions of life. The dragons are dissimilar to the golems we created. It must be the product of some unknown technology. These intelligent beings claim to have come from a di dimension beyond Phil Gaia. Oh, so this is just Wild Arms 1. Such a feat is beyond even our powers. No one knows the full extent of their powers. The dragons, unable to adapt to Phil Gaia's environment, eventually disappeared. Bonk. I think those are all the books. Oh, there weren't any books in here. Oops. I remember the save point was here, but I was like, oops. Find nothing to look at here. In a melee. Explored everything. I wish I could just go through there. I'm gonna try very briefly going back to where she came from, and then we're gonna try one more thing after that. Wow, Chad, she is disappointingly terrible. Not only did she come in late, so she gets none of the benefits of the HP ups, but her stats are super average and her skills are terrible. Unless it's like, unless she, oh, unless she's like a blue mage where you have to like, oh, I don't feel like doing that, Chad. Oh no, do I have to go around fighting every enemy trying to figure out if they have a usable skill? I, I don't think so, chat. I don't think so. I don't know about that. I don't really want to do that. Oh. Your sword rock. That's awkward. I really hope not. That, that just seems like way too much grinding for me to ever use that character. Given how late she came in the game, too. It's one thing if she was, like, our starter character, right? But, like, this, this far in...
Wow. Oh my gosh, Chad. I don't really want to bother with that. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So, I would have to potentially refight like 300 something enemies. And then maybe one of them will have something, maybe. I could try to steal boss skills if I really want to, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Even if we give her, like, even if she learns something that's usable and is good, do I really want to spend that much time making her useful? Do I really want to just give up a turn in every boss battle to try to get another ability? I don't think I do. Be real with you, chat. Like, I, I don't know. Her stats are still terrible. So she'd have to give, like, stat boosts for me to care or stat downs on the enemy. I think, like, anything other than that would literally not be worth our time. So sad. I mean, I guess if you really like grinding in video games, by all means, play this character and waste your time trying to get new skills. I don't see why I would ever use her over our other party members. Oh, does he just absorb all magic? That's kind of annoying. Yeah, I think she's taking a permanent backseat. At least maybe I would maybe use Vicky in some scenarios. Ashley, if a character dies, I'll swap somebody in. Her? I I guess if I if if everybody else has truly died and I need to revive somebody, I will use her. How's that chat? Because <laughs> she has terrible stats otherwise. So it's like there's just nothing about her that makes me want to use her. Just like really below average stats in every category doesn't really outspeed anything doesn't out damage anything definitely doesn't out tank anything hp is the lowest in the game because of how late we got her again we would have to be using some truly truly broken abilities in order for her to become usable not good just usable So yeah, I don't I don't think I'm gonna bother with that. I'm not a big fan of blue mages in general. I feel like those are for people that really want to grind out in a game, and I have no interest in it. If like any time that I play, do I feel like unlocking blue mage abilities? Thesaurus level, nice. If she at least had, like, one innately high stat, I would be, like, more willing to try her, but man. Life drain that doesn't drain any life unless you're injured. And given that she's got no HP, it's never going to be useful. And even if it is useful, it's useful once. Like, it just, it's so situational at best. They should have let her just heal at X amount, regardless. I don't know what they were thinking, chat. I don't think we were in this room before. The book entitled Sunlight Rays of Death. The greatest enemy of the Crimson Nobles is without a doubt the light of the sun. The sun's rays could burn our flesh and consume our very flesh, such as the fate of night dwellers. If, if only we could protect ourselves from the sun rays, then we could rule the day as well as night. The book entitled The Supreme Species. Crimson nobles are Philgaia's supreme species and the planet's rightful rulers. Humans have spread over the world as if it's theirs. But they are inferior to us. As the supreme species, it is only a matter of time before we rule the world. The book entitled Golem. Golems are our faithful servants. When summoned, they destroy our enemies. Magic, we have endowed their inorganic bodies with pseudo-life. 
They've been our constant companions through time. Wait, what is that? There's like a gap here. Is there a hidden switch in this room? Oh. Oh my gosh. How many of those exist? Oh no, chat. That was really hard to see. Oh, and then it could be on. Oh. No. Why would they make it flat? I can't see it in most camera angles. Game, please. Man, how many of these have I missed up to this point? I, I, oh man, that blows. His incarnation of destructive power awakens from a time long past. Its power makes the Earth rumble and crushes all who oppose it. Yeah, like that. Like, okay, it's already hard enough to navigate. You're gonna tell me you have a literal pixel thin banner that isn't viewable like 50% of the time. And I already said I don't like moving the camera because it disorients me. And now I have to potentially spin every damn wall in every dungeon to see if I missed it. This is garbage. All right, what's this ability? Required the force of Asgard. Asgard is a modified type three heavy armor golem you could summon to crush your enemies. I'm like vaguely interested, but her character is so terrible. I'll do it for you, Chan. We'll try to eventually use this on something. Do I have anything that increases response time? I don't think so, right? Hmm. No, that's as good as it gets, sadly. I took a step immediate combat. Oh, great, the things I don't think she could steal from. Cool. Thanks. You take light damage. No. Might need to use elemental on them. Or elementless, I mean. The time to get poison, because we're punished for using a blue mage. The fact that she goes slow slower than Thesaurus is, like, mind-bogglingly terrible. Okay, at least we did not get poisoned. Let's see what our skill is. did such painfully average damage. Oh my god. Game please. That was so that was so underwhelming. It's a force skill. Why does just like a normal attack from the other character equal force skill damage? That's actually insane. Holy Beyond life and death. Crimson nobles are immortal. Our bodies can, may be destroyed, but rebirth may eventually come. Offering of blood brings silence and darkness. Return to the vessels of our souls. We come from a distant past and we live into the distant future. We are time immemorial. We have a book entitled When Death Comes. Who ever thought death would come to Crimson Nobles? But it come it has, for our brethren have been killed. Killed by devourer of souls. Killed by Lord Blazer. A book entitled The Species Without Rival. The supreme species is, by definition, the one without rival anywhere in the world. We the Crimson Nobles are that species, for nowhere is there another species that rivals us. Pathetic humans. They cover the planet, but you're not its ruler. No, we are your enemy. I don't know who the audience of these books are meant to be.
Like, are they just, like, constantly fuming all the time? Well, I might as well see if we can finally learn an ability, question mark. At least have the common courtesy of giving me like one generic ability per monster. That would have been too much. Like some enemies can repeat special moves to absorb, right? Like you could have it like a family of characters gives you a skill. Like would that have been that hard, Chad? If you're gonna include a blue mage, really? Disappointed. Mm. Anything else I wanted to do other than the bonus dungeon there? I'm assuming that one's plot related, so I'm ignoring that for now. Oh, hello. Oh, it's War Respite, whatever. Oh boy, chat. I have I have an honest question. Where the heck was one of the other dungeons that I'm thinking of? Uh brain not compute. Where was it? Remember a really long time ago we went to like the Thunder God cage? I, I would imagine there's something lightning to do there. I have no idea where it is on this map. It was like... Question mark, question mark, question mark. I might need to open a world map, to be honest. It, I think it has been way too many weeks since we last went to it. It was before this. It's a place we've already visited, which makes it hard to find again. Which is kind of unfortunate. It's not here. Hmm. Give me a moment, Chad. I I'm just gonna look it up. Yeah, this is one of those things where, like, I'm like, I really don't remember where this is at all. Give me a hint. Where was it? Open image and new tab. Uh, 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 that was... No, not what I'm looking for. Find it eventually. Marble Tower, no. Oh, it might have been Tiger Lion Cage, my bad. Oh, it was on the left side, I just missed it earlier. Yeah, that's, I think the big problem is that dungeons don't appear on the map. So, like, trying to remember, like, that this is a dungeon that I want to go to. Oh, no, this is Thunder Lion Cage. Oh, so the map actually has misnamed it, but I, I remembered it was Thunder Lion Cage. Was there, in the Thunder area, a place that had the electric symbol? I figured that would probably make the most sense to check. We know there's a couple of areas that didn't seem to... There are a couple areas that didn't seem to go anywhere, so this is just kind of a standalone room. Let's check this first. Get some healing. Gotta unfortunately spin and rotate like an idiot in these rooms. Okay. 
Alright, we're, we're, we now have to paranoid check the door behind us. That's such a terrible, terrible thing to do. I don't know why they would do that. Yeah, there are these switches. Was there something I could have hid in here? So we were, we were constantly, like, falling down in the middle, if you remember from last time. So we threw a knife, we collected the treasure. Hmm. Is there anything to do in here? And my other question is, will this help us with the electric gate at the dam? Do we still need yet another item? Problem is, it could, the symbol could be anywhere in here. That's the problem. But I don't see it so far, if one exists in here. Hmm. So this puts us here. I don't see anything to do here. I'm gonna double check where one of the other dungeons was real quick. probably take an encounter. Maybe. Maybe she'll get an ability chat. I have very low doubts. Or very high doubts, I mean. Sure. Absorb. Are you telling me I can't learn that ability? Wouldn't that have been useful? Is there anything she could absorb? This is insane. She's like zero for five. I don't even think that'll hurt me, right? Yeah, it won't. Don't think that'll hurt him either. Ooh, critical's huge here. That should be it, GG. Yeah, like, could you- like, AoE Lightning would have been useful, right? Like, come on. Could she really not absorb anything? Is there a way to tell, like, if I open the book up? It doesn't look like there is, right? I don't see anything that's like red skill. <laughs> this one is special. What were they? Th what were they thinking? I okay, so we've literally not found a single monster to absorb skills from. So it 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 has literally done nothing. This might be the worst skill we've ever seen. Oh, I forgot to check this room. We're, we're exploring real slow here, chap. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. Chat, get out of here. Oh my gosh. Game, please. <laughs> Mecha boost. Bloody cape. Oh, is she finally going to get damage? That would help, actually. Maybe. Okay, she's getting defense. I still don't understand how to use the mecha boots, or whatever it is we just acquired. Also, let's use a strength up on Irene, I think, at this point. So she's at 303 attack. It gives her 20 damage. So she's almost- so weirdly, she almost has better ma physical than magic now. Despite her stats being completely atrocious. We the Crimson Nobles to seal the way forever in a ferocious eight-bodied monster. Strong power tearing Phil Gaia apart sleeps even now in the depths of the sealed pillar. Our questioning and your own desire to fight will reawaken the sleeping power. I 
don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm assuming it means I'm gonna get seventh mooned at some point. That's that's my only takeaway. Seventh moon, seventh moon, seventh moon, demon fang. Oh, game, don't just run. Uh, the bridge should be down here. If I was looking at the map correctly again. So again, like, I, I just don't remember. It has been so long since we did some of these things. I just honestly don't recall where they were physically located. So let's try to do the bridge. If you remember, there was a gate a while back that we couldn't get through. Or, excuse me, there was a fence we couldn't get through. But that doesn't mean there wasn't, like, a zap area. Yeah, was there something we could zap here? Or could we do something like this? Is there anything on one of the walls? How do we deal with this? Hmm. Make him go over the equipment. That would make too much sense. Maybe I'm still missing a tool that's needed for this? That kind of blows. Right, chat? Big F. Oh, well. I remember this was here. It's in my notes. But can't do anything with it still. I still don't understand how to get this one item that's near the bridge. Because if you remember, I couldn't land anywhere interesting to use this. Like, for some reason, you can't land on this. So at some point, I have to be able to take the boat through here somehow. But I didn't really figure out a way to get it spawned in here. There's a dungeon over here if I feel like going to it. Hmm. So who knows where else there could be items. Uh, I'm out of ideas, chat. <laughs> also, I like the Electral was not really explained that you have to use the... the tool on that, and it's not just like a decoration. I think that's cute. Got the money or wallet from that thing. I guess we'll go see what the other dungeons are like up here. We don't have to backtrack again. I don't see any other missing items, which is good. There was a castle over here. I don't know how worthwhile it is to go back to it. Let's go back to this one for now. Werewolf's Den. There you go, chat. Duh, obviously. What else would this be? Please don't put an electric symbol in here. That would drive me wild. That would drive me absolutely wild, chat. I'm just gonna make note in here that I eventually have to figure out if there's anything else worth going to. Oh boy. Electricity does not light up the room. Does Fire Rod light up the room? Nope, that that would just make too much sense. Right, chat? Just it's it it just makes too much sense. Welcome, Kurt. Black Sabbath? Okay, I mean, I guess they like the band. Will we learn a useful skill? We might need to start having bets again. I feel like the answer is still gonna be no. Oh my gosh, we learned something? 
We did it. It took like one enemy in like three dungeons to finally learn an ability. What does it even do? Banishes enemy to demon triangle all. Maybe that's good? Too bad it's unusable. It's 60 FP, so I'd have to be level 60 to use that consistently. Hope you're doing well, Kirk. I was thinking about you the other day, Kirk. I was talking with a couple people about, like, quote-unquote, fixing 5th edition. When I was looking through Pathfinder. Oh! I got attacked on the door transition? Are you serious? Wow. I wasn't holding a direction there for chat clarity, by the way. Uh, this room is insanely annoying to navigate because there's just random pits. Oh, rip. Still on cooldown. Might as well take the encounter. Funny enough, I was looking at Pathfinder 2nd Edition and they kind of did one of the ones that I was thinking of doing. Oh no, Amon. It is Shadow Hearts. Tired, but otherwise already been consistently not sleeping well. Sorry to hear that. Cosmic Ray can now be used. Let's see if she can learn a new ability here from Amon here. I'm pretty sure that's the same bird like a demon that's in Castlevania. I'm pretty sure it's not called Amon. It, like, walks really slow and summons, like, pillars of flame that spawn other creatures. I think it's a similar creature. Yeah, I was talking about how, like, 5th edition just kind of dropped the ball with a few things. I think some of it has to do with the fact that it allows multi-classing, where it just becomes, like, an un manageable mess of like when you go first go to create a character oh is that bombable wow that is chad i'm not gonna lie this the visual clarity in this game is really bad like you put me in a dark room and then i have to find like a bombable spot like that's kind of garbage can we all just agree like that's just bad and then this doesn't go anywhere what's the point of this I am so, I am so confused. Oh, there is another bombable, of course. Well, I think we made progress. We're out of the dark rooms. I sense the waves of a guardian. A guardian must be near here. But this is a strange, powerful feeling. It's the first time I've ever felt this particular sensation. No, hello. It's just called you waking up in the morning. You're very powerful. Don't worry about it. A strange guardian. It doesn't mean that. I can't believe this is a sacred ground dedicated to the guardians. Irene dot dot dots. It's a waste of time. We need to move on. We have no time to waste. Voice from nowhere in particular. I am the guardian of desire. Oh, it's Lucide. If you want this power, give my name. Oh, you actually- oh, you're actually testing my knowledge if I remembered the character's name was Lucide. I mean, okay. Those who don't know my name, leave here immediately. Oh, did I spell it in the wrong order? I might have done E-I instead of I-E, whatever. Whatever. Ashley! I was pretty close, Chan. In my defense. Where is this? I've been waiting for you, Bashley. The one with connection to the Blazing Demon, Bla Bashley Winchester. Yeah, I'm not sure if Pathfinder 2nd Edition solved my issue with multiclassing either. Is it just me, Kirk? Like, that game feels like a mess to learn. 
Does the does the hardcover book make it make more sense? There's like so many more tables to look at, which I think is the opposite of where I would want to go in a tabletop game. Like the, my complaint in D and D is not that it didn't have enough tables. <laughs> like I don't want more tables. Who are you? Like, look at your skill feats, and then your general feats, and then your class feats, and then it's like, oh my gosh, so many tables. We see it. It's been a long time, Bashley. Why are you here? I've been waiting for you. Anastasia asked me to. She wanted me to help you. Anastasia wanted you to. But it's meaningless if you aren't the type to use me correctly. I'm the guardian of desire. I only lend my powers to those who can make use of my powers. You understand my meaning. He dot dot dot. Yeah, I was I was talking with Chris with that the other day. It was just kind of like all over the place. Person's strong desires becomes my food, the source of my strength. It's the flesh and blood I need for my power. Desire stronger than any other. I ask you, what is it you desire? What I desire? I desire a peaceful daily life. Cliché is there with Grandma, Thesaurus, and Vicky too, too. Along with everyone from arms. Days with no need to fight. Days with no disputes. Is that your hope? I don't wish to be a hero now. There was a time when I wanted to be a hero, but that was to protect everyone's it has happiness. It's been a long time, Lenneth. Oh, there we go. There's the Lenneth. I didn't want to see anyone suffer. There's a simpler answer. The truth is, I wanted to protect Cliché's smiling face, so I... It doesn't matter what the power is. Power is neither good nor evil. Power can become good or evil, depending on who uses it. Hope is the same. What you wish for is the same as Anastasia. A good desire. A desire suited to become my flesh and blood. Seed. Your strength will come from the home, the hope wrapped around your body. When you, when you desire power, call out my name. For the daily life you desire, I will become the sword to battle all kinds of places. I use the people's strong hopes for the power, or for my power. I, the guardian, desire Lucid. I will be with you until the day when your hope has been exhausted. Feels like we made a contract with the demon with the way he phrased it. Attack Mad Lucy acquired. I'm assuming when we go blazer form, we can use it. Are you okay, Bashley? You disappeared so suddenly, I was worried. Didn't mean to worry you. The Guardian Desired Lucy called me. It led strength to me. Lucy. He's the Guardian who was always right there beside the Sword Mages. I've heard he's a noble Guardian for which no medium exists. You could borrow Lucid's powers. Your warring powers will be strengthened. In my case, my presence alone guarantees grand victories, but shut up, Gremlin. Frail humans need to borrow the powers of the Guardians. Be grateful. It's kind of like, Kirk, if every two levels you could pick a class ability from another class, and then, like, you need. Then there's, like, level restrictions on them. But it just ends up being, like, a really big thing to go through. Do you know what I mean? Like, imagine if instead of having, like, kits or, like, schools to, like, categorize all the abilities you could get, it's just a freeform table. So I feel like it, because it's a freeform table and it's not a point by system, it is just, like, an absolute mess trying to figure out, like, what you could do reasonably at level 4. Like, I understand why they put those balancing mechanics in, but at the same time, I'm just like, geez, there's like 500-something results on this one table. So if I'm making anybody that isn't level 1, I have so many things to read through, let alone to then understand it and use it in a meaningful way. I know, that's where I was like, I just want to understand what the class does, and it's like, I have to look at all of their abilities without any context. Where I feel like if they had just grouped it into, like, the equivalency of kits, like they did in the previous Pathfinder, 
it would give you an idea of like, oh, you know, this is the fighter variant, the gladiator. This is the weapon master. And then like all their abilities are here. I feel like without that context, it's just like a wall of... It is literally just a wall of abilities. Also, there's skill feeds on top of that, for, just for clarity. So there's like your general feeds, which don't have to do with abilities. Then there's your class feeds, which are like pick and choosing from the kit. But like, what if every ability from every kit was just in a table instead of just being separated out into kits? And then, yeah, it, as I said before, they, they added, like, so many tables. I'm like, I don't think this is what I wanted for them to solve this issue. I'm surprised I managed to get out of there. I'm not going to lie, chat. Uh... Oh, I have in my notes to go to Tabak Village before we go further. Yeah, so, like, there's things in there that I think I agree with that should have been out of the box for 5th edition. Like, they should have given... F they had the equivalency of something called Reactive Strike. It's Attack of Opportunity. They gave Fighter classic Attack of Opportunity, which I fully agree with. I really don't understand why they took that away from Fighter in 5th edition. That still annoys me to this day. I'm like, that's all they had going for them. <laughs> like, why would you take away, like, their only interesting combat option? Why would you do this? Oh, hi, mister. Guess what? Something good happened today. So I'm off to the good luck spot on the southeastern coast and, and say thank you. Good thing th that happened. You came here. That's what. Hmm. Oh. I didn't realize that was elevated. Alright, so there's a good luck spot we've been informed about. Got it. So presumably I need good luck. So do I have anybody with best luck is the question. I do. Nice. I'm going to make our party member hello. The lead. No, 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 no. I mean, like, if you use a ranged attack or you use something that requires both hands, like casting a spell. I mean real, I mean real attack of opportunity, Kirk. I don't mean whatever garbage 5th edition <laughs> put in there. It is allegedly calling attack opportunity. So they, they get to play the game like they were supposed to, because they were definitely more balanced around that. I still don't know how to get here. Hmm. Good luck zone. Special key is needed? Hmm. Are there enemies in here I have to fight? I mean, if nothing else, I should check to see if there's enemies just to steal abilities. I got nothing better to do. Rotate in circles real quick. Come on. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I agree with the rest of their changes. I think the one that blew my mind, Kirk, fighters have better saves than paladins in Pathfinder 2nd Edition. I, I don't think I agree with that. So there's a lot of changes in there I'm not really a fan of. Also, I should, probably should not have attacked with both characters. They seem to be tossing a key, so presumably I need it from them. Do I need to steal it? Probably need to steal it. Take a look at their album record so I can confirm, so I'm not wasting a million times. Oh yeah, there's no fast scroll in this menu for some reason. Why is there no fast scroll in this menu? It was called, a. Uh, 
Culpa, I think? And steal secret key. Okay. Yeah, they get they get they get reflex fortitude and then they level up and get bravery, which not only makes them have a stronger will save, but then like fear effects are reduced on them. I'm like, wait, isn't that what paladins are supposed to have? Isn't that the opposite? It's very weird. I was talking with Chris about that the other day. I was like, I don't, I really don't, I don't get what they're doing here. I should try to steal an ability. So I got Cosmic Ray, I should probably check whether or not I have a new thing to learn. But nobody has what I'm looking for. Let's learn Pickpocket, since it's mandatory for this area. Of course. Can't steal any abilities. Oh, I got poison. That's kind of annoying. Pocket failed. Man. Life drain time. Will it do 600 damage? No, it only it only healed 287. That's it. Oh come on, that is so pathetic. I think chat could fully agree. Come on, that's all you could do. What was that? Half of the health I lost. It's already not good. Wow. That is, that is actually pathetic. Ooh, please don't kill this character. Did too much damage, of course. Now the question is... Does he have new abilities we still need to learn? Got Cosmic Ray out of the way. Do we need to do Thanatos? Yeah, we still need to do Thanatos. I need to make this... So we got, like, the godly Cosmic Ray for later. Uh... I think it's the Death Element. Do we lose our response speed? Which is not great. I probably want to... Oh, jeez, it's going to be flickering constantly. It's so annoying. Well, time to get poisoned over and over, chat. I guess... Can Vicky cure status ailments? I don't even remember. We've not used her seriously in so long. So she's got a single cure, but she doesn't have an AoE cure, right? It's actually a problem. I don't want to do that then. We'll just build enough meter so we can full heal everybody every turn, because they're not diseasing us, so that's fine. Okay, one of the few times we need to get into another encounter again, please. There we go. I'm hoping between these two attacks, we'll kill one of them. That does... It only does 187?! Oh, like, she's trash! That ability is trash! 
That is trash. That is the one of the worst life steals I have ever seen. Okay, we're done. We're out of here, chat. Actually, garbage. How dare you insult me with this trash? I mean, I, like, I know drain effects are not always the most OP things ever. Like, they're just kind of like a way to do some damage and heal. But the fact that it did, like, literally 10% of a normal attack is insane. That, like, that is insane. Her normal attack, even hers, it's four times weaker than her normal attack. Unusable trash. I feel like just using her as a joke. Like, not that I need her to do anything, but it's it's so bad that I have no reason to do anything else. Except do that, I guess. Alright, so when I'm done, I can set it back to this to get more speed-ups. Hopefully we don't need more than one key. I really hope we don't. That would make me very sad, Chan. Rest acquired. Okay, I don't care. Right, chat? That's what we like to call not worth. There's two more doors. So I'm assuming we need different levels of luck. But I have a character with best luck, so we're just skipping the gimmick. Which is fine, I don't really want to do the gimmick. Sure, we'll use Arrow Shot, we almost never use this ability. Chat, that feeling when Gremlin does literally nothing. Presumably, this will be the treasure, and then if I go to the right, we'll continue deeper in. Or they flip it for no reason. Cool, hate that. Texas number acquired? I'm assuming it's a hat for Ashley. I mean, he's tankier. I still am not going to use him, because we don't need him in normal encounters. Texas, pretty much. Amulet acquired. Okay. Is amulet any good? Increases luck levels by two. I so far have not really figured out what the purpose of luck is for the most part, so for me, I don't see a reason in raising it. Like, it's it hasn't. Maybe it makes sense for, like, if I'm stealing something. Okay, out of curiosity, if I switch to this character, I presumably can't proceed, right? Or I can, never mind. Trying one's luck is one way. If you're so sure of your luck, try asking the door about it. Oh, okay, there we go. Door says no. The door opens for him because he's got the best luck. Is chat surprised that Hello is able to do everything he wants? <laughs> I'm a nice guy. Chapapanga, the guardian of luck. If it's about luck, leave it to me. Hmm. Panga acquired. Even when you have power without luck. It won't turn out okay. With some luck, you'll be fine. Don't feel like luck made a difference in our playthrough so far, <laughs> be real with you. So, did we learn new potential spells to get? Gold hammer. Dot 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 dot. Gela question mark single and lucky word. Ups luck by plus one in battle. Okay. 
Like, I'm assuming it's also, like, status ailment resistance, which is, like, somewhat useful. I'll check my notes to see if I forgot anything, but I think we're fine for now. Let's just try to leave. It's one more area out of the way. Oops. side if for whatever reason I fail to kill we at least have an AoE attack which is okay I guess the gremlin's force ability is okay her other abilities basically useless she's <laughs> so far so far unusable like even if the other thing instant kills all enemies we're not high enough level to ever use it realistically still don't understand how to get to this. I think we were flying around last time looking around, and I was like, I genuinely don't know what it wants. Um... I'm gonna go over here, because I think I saw something on the world map of interest. That is not related to the plot. There it is, Pirate's Warren. Ooh, duplicators. We got six duplicators. Press E acquired. Assuming that talisman acquired, okay, that's another luck up item, which is I'm not interested in. Elven boots, that's okay. So far, not worth. It says, what is close by magic shall be opened by magic. Prince Contraption is keeping the door closed. And then there's some kind of dragon head up here? Right, let me let me make a note of this chat. I I'm assuming I have to come back with something. Let's see, not Corona trigger notes. Go back to this one. All right, so Pirate Warren, east of Sea Tower equals door seal question mark I don't think we could do anything yet with that I the stone the stone drago lost on the road with light drago's chin will lead you to power and power there you go oh no are we about to lose all of our duplicators that is so sad. Hopefully I have enough. Hit glove acquired. Elven cloak acquired. Wow, it used every duplicator we had. That's brutal. Damn. Restores HP after... Oh, after each combat turn. Oh, that's still useless. Ha cuts the spell cost in half. Okay. Item that ups physical defense. Sends the cancel period when worn. What does that mean? Cancel period. 
her brain is not processing that. So I guess I can make her tankier, I guess. Ooh. That is... Uh-oh, hold on. Uh-oh, look how fast we can make him chat. It's gonna be so good later. She's so fast. Wow, that... Look at this chat. If I put it on her, she becomes still average. She did it. I should probably raise her speed slightly for now. She's not worthy of the item she has on her. But maybe, just maybe, she'll be able to outspeed Thesaurus, who's the same level as her. Oh my gosh, she could finally skill steal every combat now. It only took one of the most powerful guardians to have her barely outspeed our tank. Truly, truly she is worthy of such an item. Alright, let me check the world map to see if there's anything else. Oops, my bad. Yeah, let's not worry about that. I think that's it, then? I don't see anything else I need to do. So I guess we finally made it to Plot Dungeon, question mark. Do I want to get more duplicators? I probably do. I probably do. I think the Skull Island gave us duplicators, if I remember correctly. There's also this thing in the sky. That's Raypoint Wing. To know. We still can't really do anything with this area, which is weird. So I want to try to get just like one or two duplicators. I think we could get them from the island that was over here. Oops, I missed it. Because we we literally used we had six, we had a lot, but then we ran out. It's kind of brutal. Because I think the meteor site had stealable duplicators or something. Remember correctly? Let's see if we get anything from the Gila monster. <laughs> what a fail. Oh, that actually killed. I was not expecting that to kill. Rip the other monster we killed. I think it was in the meteorite crater. It, there was something in here we could fight to potentially get it. Or we could go back to that other castle and try to get it. So I still don't think we could do anything with this. So we still have yet to figure out how to open those, which is a bit sad. We'll try a couple battles here. I'll double check which one has the keys. I don't think I fully wrote down each of the ones that has it. I have Egg Mantis from Sleeping Volcano, which I could go to. There's Malcolm Liches in the Southwest Isle, which have them stealable. I want to see what's fightable here real quick, where there'll just be no encounters, which is really awkward. Seriously not going to get an encounter in here. Whatever. 
tried. Do we still have all of these symbols? I have no idea what to do with. This normal attack should suffice. They had very low HP. The gremlin's melee damage is like okay right now. <clears throat> if I did more physical attack ups, I think she would have been doing about a thousand damage. We only did one. I remember doing that earlier where I was like, I wasn't sure if her melee was worth it or not. I put one point in it, and it seems to be paying off. Does okay damage. Again, like just the words okay basically describe her in her entirety. It's nothing super impressive, sadly. Is this the island I was talking about earlier? This might have been it. Did we get anything fun in here? Surprise them, that's a good sign. Potato head. There we go, chat. Rip Mr. Potato Head. Escape down, okay. So we learned a new ability. What does it even do? Buffs parry value of target to zero. It costs 80 FP! Game, come on. She's not building meter. How? How? How is she gonna build 80 FP in any reasonable encounter? I don't know about that, chat. <laughs> this one is special. Yeah, the poor potato people. Damn, why are all of her abilities so useless? They're like way too high cost for me to ever use. Holy. I might just continue forward. So at least I know I could go back to the sleeping volcano. There was uh, the other castle that was in the western area that I think we got some from. Or those might have been lucky cards. Take that back, that might have been lucky cards. Nice, so that's a new monster. No abilities, because that would be too useful. Guess I'll move on. I mean, I'm glad we got a new ability, I guess. I'm like, they're not damaging below. Get out of here. Bonk. So at some point, we have to lucky card something for experience. Might do it on the upcoming bosses. Because we're at the point in the game where if I if I save all my levels towards the end, I'm not going to benefit from it. But maybe if we just do the last set of bosses with it, we should be fine. Huh. Let's go this way. Have happy journeys, chat. Yeah, there's like two over here. And there's the monster isle by itself over here. Sadly, I think we have to sail to reach the monster isle.
both of these are just right next to each other. Oh, is this the town? Oh, I wasn't even... I did not look at the town list. <laughs> well, I... Guess it's good we found another place, question mark? Maybe we'll find something useful. 8,500, that's an okay amount. I don't know anything about any ray point. The village elder might know. Okay. Not expecting another town. But we got that, I guess. So I can make something cost cheaper for her. I can maybe teach armor down so that she would realistically use this ability. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't know what it's called normally. Game, please. So, on the plus side, Chan, we have... Resist. We have basically all of her abilities. I'm still never going to use them, so if we miss a crest or two, it's fine. We're only gonna use like 10 spells anyway need to worry about that. Let's do the item check. No items in the overworld. Okay, that'll save me some time. Talk to these people. Cause of the weird sky. The lady says it's a curse, but I think God is jealous of me for being so pretty. I know what's going on. The curse they use to get the monsters out of the fields. That's what's making the sky look weird. Sure thing, people in that house. Oh, hello. This is Palace Village. A girl who knew magic came to help us. Oh. Oh, this is like from the beginning of the game. Oh, that makes sense. We never came back with Vicky. I just play as her in here. Raypoint. Yes, the ruins in the north might have some place like that. That's true. I didn't really think about where that was. I just kind of accepted that. So do other people recognize her if I talk to them? Hey, good to see you again. Thanks for all you did. You really saved us all. Did you come to see him? He's probably outside. <clears throat> I told him not to go outside because of the strange sky, but he just won't listen. Hello, it's me. Do you remember? I'm gonna say, uh, who? You don't? Oh, I'm crushed. I think my first love forgot me. I'll say you betcha. It's okay. He has amnesia. He won't remember. I just option selected the different things. I think the seal in these homes girl who saved our village is all right. Let me explain. The girl came to save our village and saved us from monsters. It was a spunky thing. Hello again. Did you teleport to your destination safely? See, see, the sky turned weird, but I welcome it. Okay. This town so far has... Almost nothing of interest? Oh. We have one more room to check. Like, there's not even, like, flavor text. These are just rooms. So, so far, no items at all, which is kind of brutal. Hmm. Properly. Oh, stealables at all. Wow, this village blows. <laughs> right, chat? <laughs> Just actually trash. Where are the items? Like, did they not spawn any new ones between, like, the first time we were here and now? So disappointing. 
let's all buy some antidotes, because we still don't have immunity to ailments. There we go. There's the upgrades. Uh... Oh, we are absolutely upgrading uh, Thesaurus. No question. What a god. Listen, he earned that upgrade. Yeah, we'll give a defense up to Hello, because it's funny. Or attack power to her is fine as well. And defense. I don't even know if I really want to bother with other upgrades here at all. So we have to use Bashley briefly, maybe. Honestly, it might be better for me to just not buy any more for a bit, because we're probably going to come across new items. Rosha sells for- Vip Why does Viper Fang sell for so much? What the heck? We'll try to sell our old items. That way we get a little bit of our cash back. So just in case I have to make a big purchase later, it's not as painful. So we basically went money even, if I'm looking at this correctly. Now we're about to make a small profit. Ah, right, that works. So 100,000 for later, in case we find something else that requires money. Our best characters got upgraded, and we can't purchase any upgrades for the Blue Mage. As if she wasn't hard enough to use, chat. <laughs> right? Painful. Alright, so we went to Guild Galad, we found a village. I guess since I'm here, I might as well do this one first. <laughs> At some point, one of these dungeons has to give us tools. Maybe every single one does give us a tool. Maybe. So for now, we'll proceed outwards. Onwards. So I guess this is going to be our first plot dungeon. I think I covered all the bonus dungeons. Waypoint Flam, identify. We'll change rod acquired. Change rods used by Vicky 2. Press square to change to shoot magic bullets ahead. Hitting a large jump with the magic bullet turns into an block and into an animal. Did we need to do this for anything? I don't even remember. Oh well. I, I don't remember. But we'll hit these things, because we need to. Maybe every ray point is somebody's final item. Would that have helped us at any point? Hmm. Just gonna reset the dungeon. There we go, that's how we're gonna puzzle through this. take the combat encounter. Now that the other character is fast enough by having a ridiculously good guardian, I might have- oh. This thing. Do skill drain on this. We'll block with the other characters. Flame tongue. Wow, we got out- we got out sped? That's crazy. And yeah, that would be a useful ability to learn, but of course not. Smithereens. Wow, something actually hurt Hello. 
That, that feels actually forbidden. Like, how, how dare they eat... Uh, we got a defense increase with him, too, which is insane. Let's see if we learn a new ability. Nope. It's weird they have so many abilities, and yet we can learn so few things. Well, needless to say, the fire monsters are weak to ice. I'm gonna life tri Oh, I could use uh, Asgard to see what that does. There we go. This is for chat. Robo buddies here. Damage was okay. Again, like, this is not, like, the power level difference of getting, like, a force level 2 on anybody else. Like, if if Hello does that, that instantly ends an encounter. It kills every enemy. She does it, it's like, eh. It, it did as much damage as, like, a crit. I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah, Potemkin. Something like that. He wants me to use fire magic here. I did it, chat. I puzzled. There's, oh, there's a lot of items in here. What the heck is this? Apples. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to strength apple Irene again. Because that's the only thing holding her back. We're obviously getting sorcery to hello. Resistance. I guess could go in Thesaurus? Lady becomes a better magic tank. Vitality. Could probably go on hello. We want this character unkillable. <laughs> right, chat? Just like, no, tankier. There's a thing... Okay, so I have to hit it with a knife. Okay, I understand how to hit that. So we're gonna go this, change this, do this. The other thing is gonna outspeed me no matter what I do here. I guess I could just do generic damage here. So like, I think because of our force abilities, she's sort of useful. Let's see how they deal with ice. Yeah, I think it's important we just have hello as unkillable as possible. Let's see how much damage this does. More robot buddy for chat. You know, for the Force Level 1, that had more of a visual impact than the second one did. Not gonna lie. Okay. Did what it needed to do there. The Hello should hopefully get this kill. I did wound them. Nice. Ashley leveled. Nice. Yeah, I think at some point I might There we go. Might end up making custom classes or something for DD. We're messing around with a system like that. When I'm all done with PSO. It'll be like my next big thing. Okay, I got the switch. Yeah, 
chest. A gimbal coin, that's it? Booty. Hmm. I don't think I want to fall down here. Come back here if we need to. Yeah, it's just one of those things where, like, I was talking earlier about, like, how to make the classes more interesting. I feel like Barbarian should have been about, like, minimum damage guaranteed and, like, definitely lowering their stats or something in order to potentially have a big damage payoff. I feel like they should scale based off of number of misses as well by, like, that's one of the ways they could build rage. Because I think... I think when you think about it from a thematic standpoint, what makes you angry? Actually hitting something or whiffing constantly? So it would be kind of neat if we had some kind of like point system for them to expend things. Wow, hello with the advanced guard. <laughs> Chad, not only is hello stats super good, but advanced guard auto blocked all damage. What a god. Actually unkillable chat. Hello, the most likely party member to survive, guaranteed now. So I'm hoping with, like, the ability to spend points to, you know, gar maybe guarantee a hit if you miss a certain amount of times in combat, mixed with things like minimum points starting per combat to give you some combat options. I think it could be fun. Hello could be Goku, maybe. I definitely want Fighter to have some more strategies. They should be like the Combat Maneuver Masters, which I think the Battle Master in 5th Edition kind of did. I got attacked in a doorway again, chat. That was me. But it's just kind of like one of those things where like there, there's just like bad decisions due to the multi-class that just kind of holds the things back. Unfortunately, I understood this puzzle. It's just awkward with camera angle. Speaking of awkward with camera angle. Yeah, I just want to present like a more simplified option, like your characters will still have power, but you're not, like, looking at, like, 30 million shards. Yet at the same time, when you're in combat, you have options. Because I feel like 5th edition's biggest weakness is martial classes are terrible. Like, you're going to use them as, like, footstools to become better spellcasters. But they themselves are not interesting without spells. Because all the options are in spells. No ability to steal. Ooh, nice crit. That actually matters. This could get the kill here with the crit. Multicasting would have been fine if it was baked into the class role that DDs would have been out on rather than the system. Yeah. And that's the problem, too. A lot of the splat books in every edition are just broken. Like, it just. I just find it kind of sucks the fun out of the game when there are so clearly imbalanced classes that invalidate other people's roles. I think the ones I'd like to talk about are like the Twilight Cleric, or like the Abjuration Wizard mixed with anything. It's like godlike. Or like the nonsense of like a pure paladin versus like a paladin warlock or people that dip warlock with anything. How much stronger they are as a character compared to everything else. It's so unfair. So Chad, I think we got a damage upgrade for Hello. So if you thought, chat, he was taking damage before, worry not, he has more magic resistance now. Because you know, he wasn't hard carrying earlier, I guess, question mark. I guess I could give her... Secret Sign. I guess I have to use her. I'll get rid of kid gloves and just leave her to avoid surprise. So yeah, I was definitely disappointed with like... I just find it weird in like the 5th edition universe that they have like all of these potential problems. Is it just ice? Not ice. Uh... What do you want me to do in here? Do you still want me to light these? 
even though they're blue. Oh, I guess you do. So I would like to see the return of having interesting combat options for them. I feel so bad for them, like they just they just don't do anything. Like they honestly just feel like playing the warrior from 3.5. It's like, okay, once you do your extra action, once a combat, essentially, it's like, what else do you do? You just roll on the d20. So it'd be nice if they could do little maneuvers, or they had something else to recover. It doesn't have to be like a million spells, but it has to be something worth unlocking. Assuming Gauntlets is just kid gloves, but better, yeah. Sure we're not missing anything. Although I'm probably missed the lightning thing somewhere. Yeah, they're like really great levels one one and two, and then level three when it's it's just over. Every other class is just so much stronger. Flame illuminates darkness, the light's life is fleeting, abundant flames will light the way. Did that not light the far one because it was too far? That's annoying. That's really annoying that I failed the puzzle because it just didn't reach arbitrarily. Stupid. There we go. I did it right the first time. The stupid fireball clipped out of existence. Come on, game. Test your puzzles. Hmm. Oh. Why, hello there. Even if my power is insufficient, I can't stand by and do nothing. I guess we're at a boss? Question mark? That was just kind of sudden. Let's bring in the Flam Knight. Try skill drain. Let's go for this building meter. Uh, dare I FP ship? Not with this party. Uh oh. I have a feeling I'm about to hit myself with my spell. That's unfortunate. So bosses don't have anything in Yeah, I'm about to take some big damage, chat. Oh, pff, it's hello. Wait, hello's immune to hello. Wait, I don't think this matters. Oh my gosh, chat, we're fighting a boss where I can't use hello? <gasps> Gasp! I actually have to change characters. Well, anyway, the offense is here. Uh, let's just use shot weapon on you. Actually, let's build meter. I'm gonna have you melee again. Oh, you have a shield that's targetable. Let's target that then. Yeah, have everybody target that. So we increased her strength and gave her a new weapon, so hopefully her damage is okay. Our defense is increased on everybody, so I'm not super worried. Randomly getting critical will save us a lot of time as we build meter. Ashley almost has enough to power up again. Let's build more meter. Once the shield is gone, hopefully we'll be able to transform as Bashley and basically one-shot her with the powered up form. Shield A's magic resistance up. I'm not even using magic attacks. Get out of here. Idiot. Ooh, we got a critical from him. That'll save some time. So we're almost at 100 meter across multiple characters. Irene will finally be able to start comboing. Floric Nova. Okay, this could be bad. This could kill Bashley. I think everybody else is probably fine. Looks 
some big damage there. Hmm. Let's use... I hate that I got injured there. That actually messes things up a little bit. Right, if I remove Irene and put in hello, it makes sure that she doesn't die. I should be able to outspeed with hello, so I should be able to first aid here. We can maybe do access. Then I could do lock on with railgun. And then just AoE heal. That should put me out of kill range. I think it was a good call. It was a good call to heal there. I think chat would agree. That would have been embarrassing otherwise. This should lock on with our boss killer. That did no damage. Now, will he stay transformed and the other party members also get to fight alongside him? Because if so, that's a big benefit. Okay, he's still able to do this. Let's do this. We're gonna use a card. So I'd like to get bonus stats here. We're gonna first aid again. The so hello basically still- oh, never mind. Hello still hard counters the boss, of course. Oh, and the boss fight's over. Well, I did unfortunately did not lucky card. I didn't expect the boss to die there, so that's unfortunate. Oh, that would have been a lot of levels. That's so sad. In my defense, Chad, I, I thought the boss battle would last a little bit longer. Yeah, I was like, oh, that was disappointing. Well, rip getting free XP. Well, now you put a save point? It's a bit late for that. Got a headband for her. Which is sad, because we don't really care about her. Anyway, let's, let's just switch our party around again. It's funny that we're using Gremlin. Like, she's terrible. Like, if we actually want damage, we should probably put Bashley in bonus bosses, and then Irene in when we can. Anyway, that was the thing that just happened. Anything else worth doing here? I don't think so. Yeah, Thesaurus has so much HP, I don't think he could die in most normal things. Let's just make sure the other characters can survive. Oh no, this is like PSO episode 4 with the stupid fire hallways. No, I hate this. There's not even like a good visual cue for where they're popping out. Like, the lava doesn't bubble. You just have to memorize where it is. Kinda sucks. There we go. The power of angles compels me. So what's over here? It's a chest? It's Mario, but we can't jump. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I didn't realize there wasn't a step there. Camera angle, please. Come on. Man, I think chat would agree. I did not see there was not a step there. I hate that so much. Stupid. Like, again, I, it just looks like a tile to me. It didn't look like it was not connected. Alright, so we gotta sort of do this. There we go. It's for a crest. Not worth. <sighs> I mean, like, I you got me, game, I guess. Let's heal. So we're gonna do probably an AoE. And we're going to... And into a heal.
There we go, nice and simple. Okay, so this will be an excuse to heal, which is good. I'd like to heal the other party members not in the current party. Okay, they gained like 800 health, that's not bad. I could I could just leave this room and come back and just fuel. Oh, I know where the crystals don't come back when you do that. Never mind. Disregard. More of these, really? Dungeon design. All right. I love waiting games. That's fine. Where's the other toy? Oh, there it is. Did, did getting struck stop the fireball from flying? That's crazy. Why is that a mechanic? That's that's a big what for me, chat. Like what? I didn't realize we were playing bullet hell rules. Alright, so we got lucky card. Do I need anything else? What are the point of all these stairs? Do they really think you're gonna fall that often? There's a door over there. Is there an item over here at all or no? Hmm. Weird. Anyway, I guess we, uh, my sense of where to go is all lost because I've been rotating the camera. I hope this is the exit and not the entrance. Alright, that looks promising. Bonk. We'll take the encounter. So hello is four levels from being an auto god. Oh, what's this? Ifrit? Got bad news for him. I'm about to destroy him. We use probably water gun actually. Oh, he went first. That's unfortunate. I mean, that shouldn't really hurt the Saurus. Yeah. He doesn't even have match max magic resistance yet, but once he does, I think the game is over. Uh, no abilities to learn, because that'd be useful. Anyway, but enemy be gone, right chat? Just wave your hand, goodbye. Okay. So presumably I just light the one torch and move forward. Acquired. Who wears blazers? I don't remember. Is that a Bashley item? No. Oh, it's for her. Well, I'm glad we never upgraded her. <laughs> so we're not bothering with items. The other characters, at least the defense and damage up, sort of mattered. Okay. So we'll take another encounter. We surprised them, apparently. Uh, could do some life drain into normal melee, into hopefully getting a kill here. So you just need to make sure that Hello gets more overall kills. And if this doesn't kill, this doesn't matter. We just block with the other characters. Oh yeah, it did kill. We have an okay amount of cash in case I need to purchase something in like a secret black market like in the first game. I think it wants me to use the blades here. Mm -hmm. 
so we're getting nothing but items for Nikki too, which is awkward because we're not using her. So so far not worth to do this one first. I think I would have preferred the other ones at this point, but oh well. We have to make we made our choice. We'll just continue on with it, I suppose. Avoid some encounters here with this since we already have her Al. This is just stand in the middle and then shoot downwards. Oh, it doesn't hit the last one right away. Okay. Wait, how did the other... Whatever. You know what? I don't know what I did differently between those two, but apparently the top switch got hit. That's all that matters. Slash lantern. Voice reaching Vicky 2's heart. Hey, Vicky 2, younger daughter. Who's that peeking into my heart? I'm the will of power, the spirit of flam. Vicky 2, you want to liberate Ray Point 1 control. Show me your powers. My sorcery. Power my magic. You understand that only those with supreme sorcery will be able to liberate the waypoint. If my sorcery is not fully developed, then the release of this ray point is dot dot dot. Understood that it would be understand that it would be impossible. Furthermore, if you fail once the ray point cannot be liberated for all of eternity. Wait, wait! So you're saying I can make no mistake? Hmm. What's wrong? Why are you hesitating? I can't do this. I know I'm gonna blow it again. I'm not good at I'm not good at this like my sister. It's so impossible. Well Vicky does to Vicky too does do his mistakes. Kind of true though. Magic is the power to do anything. It's the power to be like... My big sister who I so adore. I'd always believe that, but it's not true. My crest sorcery can't do everything. Are you apprehensive? Sister, is that you? Where are you? Dot, 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 dot. Why do you belittle yourself? You are you. You don't have magic, so you could become someone else, right? That's not true. The person everyone wants to have here is you, my older sister. That's why I've always tried to fill in for you by going all out. You aren't my replacement. I mean, come on, there are only things you can do. Things only I can do? You never gave up, don't you remember? At the Millennium Puzzle, oh, don't remind me of that place, didn't you stay to the finish? You didn't give up like I did. It's because you were by my side, yet I wasn't able to do anything. I remember, I almost gave up. I wasn't able to do anything with my magic. Oh, the constant rotation is nauseating. Don't forget, Vicky 2. Your magic can be used by anyone. And can do anything. Your magic isn't crest sorcery. Try to remember the special spell that I taught you. Pocus, pocus, pocus. Holy. Exactly. Repels fire and restores laughter. Yeah, it's not quite a magic kazam there, chat. I'm sure you can use it. Will I be able to do it? There's someone I'd like... Someone I want to protect. I want to see their laughter. You can do it. There's one thing you need to be careful about. One thing? Well, what is it, sis? 
promise me one thing. Don't cry Magic anymore. Kazam! Come on, laugh, Vicky too. Laugh at how dumb you are for saying that spell. Oh man. Hmm. Sure, I'm okay. I'm fine. That's right. That's your magic. Hmm. Vicky two dot dot dots. Everyone, I'm so sorry. I lost my confidence. It's not like me at all. But I'm all right now. I'm gonna liberate the waypoint. My sister made me realize something I could do, something only I could do, and that's my magic. I'm not a crest sorceress. I knew that, but I forgot somewhere along the way. I forgot that magic could be used by anyone. It could do almost anything. When I stumble and make mistakes, my magic doesn't surrender. I'm not afraid to fail. I'll even liberate the ray point. I love Phil Gaia. I love everyone. Everyone, don't turn away from me. I'll show you magic. Well, guys, life energy. Flam's mana has been liberated. It is quietly filling up. Flam's mana will awaken future possibilities to sleep in Vicky too. Dual cast acquired. Even with dual cast, I just don't think this is worth it. The dual cast is a poor skill for Vicky too. Magic will be concentrated and activate two crest sorcery commands consecutively. Hmm. I think before I go too much further, I'm gonna check one thing, chat. Steel duplicator from this guy. Where was he? I think if we get like one or two more of these, I think I'll feel comfortable. I'm just worried we're gonna hit like a bonus dungeon and we can't do anything with it. I'm assuming it was on the Meteor Crater. Maybe it was on, just on the outside. Maybe that was on the outside. Let, let's try to get at least one before we continue. Because we used six. Presumably once we get the... Like the... Final tool maybe for Ashley. Or slash Bashley. Maybe... We'll be able to get that other door. But that other door might need us to have a duplicator. So, let's at least get one. I prefer two. And we'll go forward from there. There's still that one thing I don't know how to reach. So let, let's fish for them and then maybe we'll do one more dungeon. At some point I want to go back to the odd headquarters, but I might save that till a bit later. Because I'm assuming we'll probably either get a tool or the black market would be there. I'm assuming one of the one of the following is true. But right now I don't really need anything from the black market. I'd rather build up money in case it's expensive. Okay, so this is the enemy I'm looking for. So let's have Let's do this. Let's For the weather vane, let's get 
her at best luck. And have her steal. So if we get both of these, I think we're in a good place. But I have a feeling we're going to be here a while because she's useless. Nice advance guard there. Come on. So having two of these would be huge. Okay. If we could get into like one more battle with them, I think having three would be our magic number. But two, I think, would solve most issues. Just keep in mind, there are just going to inevitably be like one chest in a dungeon at some point in the future. Like, I didn't mean to run away. I mismenued. That's unfortunate. Well, anyway, now we can get three. We just need that encounter again. I thought I hit confirm and then I was going to go to defend and I'm like, oops, that's what I get for wiping my eyes while playing. So we'll do that encounter again. So we have one duplicator. I would like three. And we'll move on. So that way we don't have to revisit a dungeon. Because most of the time, most places only have one. I guess I could see if she could skill drain the Floros. It was the only thing we didn't try to skill drain here. Okay. Let's kill this thing real quick. Wow, you know it's bad when Hello's melee is good enough to kill an enemy. Let's get a couple more and then... I guess I could check out the odd headquarters now. The worst thing that happens is I gotta revisit it again, I guess. But if for some reason they want a whole bunch of these, at least then we'll have enough, I think, for a little bit. Might as well as melee, it's free money. So if something costs 100,000 in the shop, we should have over 100,000 now. Check out the odd headquarters, then I guess we'll do the flying fortress before I forget where that is. And then from there... Presumably at some point... Oh, wait a minute. Actually, I just remembered something. Wasn't there a book in the academy that we couldn't read? I should probably go there with Maribel at some point. interest there. Come on, one more set of duplicators that make me feel so much better. Ooh, that's a lot of duplicator chances. I like this. So having four is ideal. Bucket failed, that's fine. She's got decent response speed and good luck, so hopefully it won't take too long. We can kill the one on the left. Probably gonna get a poison a billion times. So these are just weaker versions of the enemy we stole the secret key from. 
Ooh, that's embarrassing when you're doing zero damage to Gremlin, who has, like, no buffs. Actually, I should have Hello get the kill here. He still has spells to unlock. Okay, nice, nice. I'm gonna make sure to write this down more properly. Meteorite... Island... Outside... E-Monster... Slowly teaching Hello the remaining abilities that he has. He almost has 100 FP, which is hilarious. So I think, I think luck has made a big difference in pickpocket success. That's about all I see it really doing. Everything else I don't super care about. Getting poison there kind of sucks. that, let's go ahead and sort our inventory, and we're going to Antidote. And we can Teleport Gem to Odd uh, Headquarters first. And then we're gonna go to one of the other locations. I love it, it's just Kaiju card. If I remember correctly, there was like a downstairs. There it is. And then it wasn't operational. Maybe I zap it so we could get past this point. There we go. Welcome to the black market. There we go. There's also a chest here. Oops. <laughs> Say goodbye to some of our duplicators already, chat. They didn't last very long. We got scapegoat, and what did we get? Odd sandals. What do odd sandals do? Increases encounter rate. Oh. That's unfortunate. Well, we still have two duplicators, so this is fine. Okay, what do you have in the black market? Any super weapons? No, you just have generic stat figures. Okay, so we have the change rod, which we need to make those platforms, but we don't have the thing needed to progress there. So we're gonna get something that lets us go through. <laughs> I was gonna say, if it was if it was the optional character that could reach these, I would think that she's gonna turn into mist like Alucard. So we can't do anything there. Guess I'll denote my notes real quick. Odd headquarters. Dan equals fence. Let's see. Anything else I should do? This will teleport to... Jeez, what was that place even called? Brain is thinking about it, but it's like, nope. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Why do I not see it here?
You know, I can very briefly go fix my abilities. This is fine. So let's let's go get upgrades since it should be fine. Is there anything else I was forgetting to do before we do one last dungeon? I'm thinking about. Magic defense up, sure, that would be great for her. Magic defense up, uh sure. Eventually we should get him physical defense up. Everybody else doesn't have a lot of points, which is fine. Like, was there anything in this town that we didn't do? Trying to think, like, were there were there any other locations that had books other than the one place whose name eludes me, which I can always do later. So many doors. I think of interest in here. I want to check each of the towns for books that she might be able to read. The, the hilarious trucks that are in here. Goodbye, cherry blossom truck. Hmm. So I have a feeling we're going to be getting like a tool per dungeon. So at some point, I need to focus on the the ray points. was a library here. I did remember this. Was there a book only she could read? Let's check real quick. Is it like over here? There we go. See a book entitled Crimson Noble Sanctuary. Do you want to read it? There we go, chat. That's a callback. Holy, how many of you remember this bookshelf was here? Crimson Noble Sanctuary, the promised land of the Crimson Nobles, is now forsaken. No we Crimson Nobles were torn asunder by the blaze of disaster, and now I'm the only one left. Let's preserve the Crimson Nobles' honor and protect this masterless place. We'll meet at our promised land in an island south of a masterless castle by Isabel Graceland. Okay. I wonder if that's finally gonna unlock a dungeon that was, uh... Because they said south of the Masterless Castle, so that would be on the west side of the world. Maybe that big forested area that I went to earlier finally does something. I was thinking eventually a bonus dungeon would unlock there. find out, I guess. Also, I cannot state how happy I am to not have to constantly get in random encounters while traveling. Love that we're skipping these automatically. So now there's something here. Okay. See, the Masterless Castle was where I was... I think we... Was that where we fought Mirror? No, that's where we fought... Uh, 
uh, what's her name? Blanking, Irene. That was on the left side of the world, so I think they meet... Although that doesn't really line up with it. It... Uh... No, not quite. Oh, may oh, maybe if it's at the edge, maybe it lines up a bit more. Never mind, I take that back. Because we went there a while ago, and it had lucky cards we could take, so we might go there eventually. We have the promised catacombs. I'm gonna make a note in case we can't do anything here. Promise Catacombs Southwest Forest Oof. There's a drop, but they're not connected. Wait, can I already not do anything? Wow. Okay, well. Chat, congratulations. We made it a an entire five steps into the dungeon. We cannot do it, so. I guess with that, we have to just leave and hope we find the right tool. Maybe I just check each of the ray points and just leave before doing them officially. Is that, is that the strat? That way I don't have to constantly check every time we enter a dungeon. Also, where was the other floating area? It was around here somewhere, right? Speaking of which... Why won't you let me enter? There we go. That was being uh, very finicky. If we get a teleport thing, I'm leaving immediately. I want you to know, Chad, I'm not doing this dungeon. We have a switch. Do I hit it with a knife? Do I kick it? Do I hit it with... Change rod. Where did we see something like this before? Hi. New idea. We'll ignore that for now. That worked. I don't know what the switch is for. Damn, we gotta wait for this animation every time. That's... I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of terrible. Oh, you know what I could do? Hold on. I think this is in range. I do this. Yeah, there we go. It. Miss Cloak. Is this the Alucard thing? Used by Hello. Press where the transformed in Mist. Wow. Wow. Okay, we're leaving the dungeon. Bye. <laughs> I got what I needed. <laughs> that was convenient. Oh. Something here. Piercing winds force shakes the trees and won't be a road for the crossing. Okay, so that's a hint for the puzzle. I don't know what the blinking switch was supposed to do. But anyway, chat, we're gonna go ahead and leave. Because, um, we now have the ability to go revisit a million places. I'm gonna make a note. Did not do... Flying Fortress... Or Flying Raypoint... In Southwest. I mean, I'm just gonna go- I mean, I could do the other dungeon. I probably want to do the other dungeon soon. But I figure while I'm here, let's just go pick up some easy items, and then we'll do the dungeon, and that'll be our final dungeon. Because I'd prefer not to advance the plot unless we really need to. Given that we have something to do now, we don't have to worry about that. So if I just waited a little more, I would have been able to come here. Oops. There we go. Last time acquired. Last time is a bayonet cartridge used by Bashley using this adds additional ammunition. Attack the enemy by shooting shockwaves with scatter over a wide area. Okay. 
so let's just immediately teleport back to odd headquarters right and then we could go check the other dungeon Hopefully this doesn't require yet another tool to go through, or that will make me sad. Hopefully we also don't need more duplicators. That, that too would also make me very sad. lines up with it, right? Unless I throw it diagonally. So we managed to get most of the items. That sound effect is terrible. Uh, let's use the change rod here. That was convenient. So now we can cross. Oh, come on. Game, please. Give me a break on that. I definitely hit the use button before I hit forward. Killing me. They could cross small gaps. Outside of the dungeon we just came from, I'm not sure if there's something else we needed to do. Did all that for a chest. Was the chest worth it? Teddy bear acquired. Stops luck from dropping at an inn. Oof. That is kind of not worth coming back for. I think chat would agree. It's not quite the teddy bear from Shadow Hearts with its ridiculous immunity to insta death. That would have been good. But given that I already don't really care about luck, that was disappointing. Okay, so now let's go check out the... Okay, so we went there, we went there, so I guess... I can't think of anything else that needed it, so let's... See to the southwest again. We'll investigate those other dungeons at some point. So two duplicators, we have a lot of lucky cards, so I, if we fight a boss, I would really, really, really be happy to burn it on one of these enemies. So that way we can get more XP before the end of the game, because it feels like we're basically there. Like, we're just, like, a little shy of, like, the true bonus bosses, you know what I mean? Like, we're in bonus dungeons, but we're not, like, 7th mooning, we're in the arena or anything. Alright, so now we should be able to cross this gap. Presumably all of her upgrades will be here, and since we're using her anyway, I guess it should be fun. We have her tool. We might even get another instrument for her, because if we get the boss unlock, then then I think everything is open. Now I'm paranoid and looking for the zaps. Hmm. There's a weird smiley. Oh no. Oh no, where was the other smiley block? Oh no, I don't remember. We've seen it before. Oh no, chat. Do you remember? We're presumably gonna get a tool to finally move these. One of them might have been in a mine shaft, but I don't know where the other one was. Oh boy. That's gonna be fun trying to remember that for later. Wind up key. 
Tool used by Gremlin. Press square to have the wind-up key throw spring coils in front of you. If you fix the wind-up key to certain blocks, you will see a variety of results. Wait, did she just... Oh, boy. I don't remember where that is. Assuming this is just armor for her. Which is a downgrade over what we're using. That's hilariously terrible. Man, her dungeon sucks. All right, chat. Oh, wow. Well. Terrible. Let's have her skill drain a scarecrow. And then punch these other things to death real quick. Oh, does he still have... Oh, he doesn't have steel on. Good. Just wanted to make sure. Let's use arrow shot on one of these. I had a feeling that was their weakness. Come on, learn something interesting. Of course. Is that a Scarecrow? It looks more like an Armored Knight, but whatever. So slowly but surely, Chad, he will learn his new ability. Unless I gave him the wrong guild thing, then I feel bad. I mean, we still have a lot of time to learn his other abilities. Just want to double check that we're actually learning something. Only seven more for Arcana 13, so I think that's working. Then eventually we have to have 77 uses of the other one, which is fair, because we're probably going to be putting that on him full time anyway. Oh no, it's follow- oh, jeez. I hate this already. One, two... How is that fair? I barely see it. One, two, damn- Okay. I gotta watch this again. I just didn't see where it was. Is it one, two, three? Maybe it's one, two, three. I hate this. Man, this would be much easier if I could see a grid. <laughs> what is this bullshit? <laughs> Chat, what is this bullshit? Why, why wild arms too? Why? Um, ah. Oh, just the problem is like if I move the camera moves with it so I don't have a good visual cue oh my gosh this is so annoying so it's like is it left here and then a little bit down oh no no too soon so horrible. Why would they do this? Wild Arms 2! Okay. But as I said before, the problem is that the camera moves with you, which is disorienting because I have to count spaces, but there's no tiles or anything for me to count. What were they thinking with this? Gosh, get me out of here. Wow. Wow. I hate this dungeon chat. <laughs> Wait, did they <laughs> just jump? Oh, now I can see the platform. How come I- Oh, come on, game. 
Give me some grids to work with or something. Stupid. Do this. Hate this. Press acquire, don't care about it. Mecha boost. I mean, it makes her less terrible, I guess. She's technically stronger in melee than Vashley. An expensive ensemble built coffin, but there's no evidence of it being used. You know what? I'm starting to think that other Crimson Nobles exist, they just don't want to associate with Gremlin. <laughs> this is what I'm convinced of, chat. Oh, there's a duplicate. Oh. Rip, rip one of our duplicators. Well, chat, I'm glad I got four duplicators, because we've used three already. Brutal. I don't want to take that yet, in case that teleports me out of the dungeon. Now I'll go pick it up. We have one room in the back. Hopefully this doesn't teleport us. It feels like we're gonna get plot if we go back there, so... Feels somewhat safe. Time turns, passing on, flowing endlessly, then ceases. Then... Dyrum's eternal spiral. Then Dyrum acquired. But time doesn't flow equally. In the limited time you burn up your life, I must seek justice. Okay, is this actually, like, really good? It's really strong at sorcery. Actually, really strong is a... No, it's actually not even strong. I mean, it's weaker than Grudiev? Man, that sucks. What's the point of that? Why give us a Guardian weaker than ones we already have? Also, it doesn't look like it unlocks anything at all. Does it have a useful ability? Like, what was the point of this thing? Oh, there's Move Canceler. Maybe that's... Maybe that Cancel extension applies to that. Weird. But maybe it stops bosses from doing attacks if we use it. You surprised them. I mean, on the plus side, we're slowly learning everything we need to learn. We're gonna check to make sure that this goes down to six after this combat. We're slowly getting there, chat. They have they are gradually catching up to the same power level that Hello has been at for like the past 14 hours. Very slowly, while he becomes more unkillable. Father. Mother. What is it? Gremlin? It's... it's nothing. Why? Why am I all alone? Yes, I'm always alone. I'm one of the proud Crimson Nobles, the people chosen to live for eternity. But my tribe no longer exists. Why am I the only one still alive? If I died with the rest of my tribe, I wouldn't be suffering. Anastasia was my last friend. Hundreds of years have passed since I saw her, aside from goodbyes being too hard. My life is eternal. People won't do. People get old and die. See many births and many deaths. No longer have friends in this world. 
That's why I don't need friends. That's my decision. But now, there are many people who need me. So I've decided. We'll join these people who are living now for a little while. No, we'll have to say goodbye someday, but I'll have no regrets. That's what I hope for. Gremlin, were you crying? What are you saying? I'm no weakling. Well, we're finished here. Time to move on. Let's go. Well, guy doesn't have much time left. Oh, that's just for plot. We don't get anything else out of it. Cool. Uh... Oh boy. Um Can I remember where to use these things? Do we have something that will We have something that'll move the block? Was it in the mine town? No, I think that was too early. Go back here for now. Where was the other smile block? That dungeon. Oh, was it at this one? Oh, but I can't park here. I uh, just like, uh, yeah, there we go. I, maybe it was this one? If this was Lost Garden, I think it was this one. Again, there are so many dungeons in this game. I mean, I'm glad I took some notes, but I definitely missed the smiley block. All right, this is Lost Garden. not that long ago, so I'm thinking maybe it was this one that had one of them. I still feel like there's another one. I don't know if I feel like going through my VODs to figure it out, though. Yeah, here we go. So fortunately, this one was somewhat recent that we last played this one. Maybe I'll check the mines off stream. We'll revive. Oh, a duplicator. Okay. Rest acquired. Mecha boost acquired. My mic acquired. My mic is for Gremlin's use. Sing a beautiful song, song by beautiful song by Gremlin. Song back and all hidden monsters of force of the fight. Okay, so now I think we can officially do the boss symbol things. You know what? Gremlin's attack power is gradually somehow catching up to Thesaurus, which is hilarious. I nev I didn't peg her for a melee character, or else I would have pumped her a bit differently. I was thinking she was going to unlock more spells, but little did we know how few there were to unlock. So now we could do the boss symbols, but we'll wait a little bit on those. I don't think there's, like, other than XP and maybe some super weapons. Why didn't you fall off the platform? I don't... I think we're in a rush to do those. Those are like when we are good and leveled, so we don't have to redo them. We'll do those. Sure, we'll get an encounter real quick. Nice. Let's do skill drain on Gizmo. Lock with this. Forgot to check to see if we were getting points with it, but hopefully we are.
Ooh, immune to magic, that's right. You taunt me all you want, I don't really care. If she learns taunting, that would be kind of funny. Nope. Like he's attacking us with a whole throne. I think we're just gonna go some elementless damage on this. Oh, it hits every target. Um, in that case, I'll just defend for a turn. Actually, I probably should have first aided, but oh well. Then I could have just elemental blasted everything out of existence. Will we finally learn a new skill by revisiting these dungeons going for items? Nope. Yeah, I think they might have all elemental resist, but we should be able to get through with Valkyrie, aka Kirk Plus Plus. The true canon name of this ability. So I think Hello officially has enough levels to just spam that over and over, I think. Or we could just give him a couple more levels. How close is he to 49? Or did he have points on before? Oh, he's still three levels away. Because he's three levels away from achieving Godhood. Because he already does insane damage, but now we could just have him party wipe every single, every single encounter with one spell. Because nothing will resist the elementless damage, to my knowledge. So we only need three more uses to unlock a new spell there. And then we could give him something that improves his speed and his sorcery and his parry and his defense. His character just becomes ultra top tier. Hmm. Uh, was there anywhere else? I'm checking the world map. I'm just counting dungeons. Are there any other dungeons that I would think are worth revisiting. Hmm. I think the problem is some of these are not named correctly. Okay, yeah, there's one other place I'm gonna try, and then I'm officially out of ideas of what to do with this. Let's... Just teleport, I guess, with one of our gems. Come over here. I think there was a mesh fence in one of the dungeons that was over here. Yeah, it might have been this one. I feel like in like kind of like a greenish area here, we might have also needed the mist cloak. I feel like we opened something but couldn't do anything with it. Back a little bit. Not in this specific area. Let's go a little deeper. This is the exit of the dungeon. I'm gonna look for the other room that are like this. Like back here that I'm thinking of. Switch 
which is is it not here? like a little gap we had we couldn't like we opened a door but then we couldn't do anything with it is that a monolith curiosity can i also just teleport past this now no so we still can't get past this okay so i still don't know what you're supposed to do to reach these crates so that's that's one of the th that not quite what i was thinking of but i remembered when i saw that so that's not where i want to be hmm So we still can't get to that treasure. Is there anything else that we needed to do in here? Let me just check around real quick. There anywhere I couldn't quite get to by default. I was throwing this stuff off screen. There we go. Okay, so it was in here. Okay. Ape Goat. Life Orb. Okay, because I was like, I was like, I was like, I remember kind of opening a door at one point and we couldn't get the item. Except I forgot to write that down in my notes. We got kind of lucky on that one, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I referred it to Lost City North of Quarterly. Oh, that's why. I didn't remember what that was. I should have rewritten that to Lost City. With the full title. Oh, well. Anyway, we got that out of the way. Life Orb, I think, just gives us massive amounts of health. But if we just want to put this on this character... Oh, restores full HP at end of battle. Uh, that's not quite what I thought it did. There was something that used to boost by, like, 50% or 25% max health. I thought it was that one. Alright, well, deleting that off my list anyway, so let's get rid of that. So I have all the boss symbols we can revisit at some point. Then Mount Chug Chug, Second Prison, Helmets, Mine and Holtz, Wind Tiger Den, Closed Mine Shaft, Meteoric Crater. If there were any others, I'm not sure. We revisited the first prison, so I'm gonna take that off the list. We did the Promised Catacombs, I'm gonna remove that from the list. We did Odd Headquarters, so I'm gonna remove that from the list. We have a note for Pirate Warren for next time, so that should be good. Is there anything else anywhere that would be worth doing right now before I take a break? Hmm. Gremlin's close to leveling, but I don't think that really matters. Um, I think we've done all the bonus dungeons at this point, then. So it's more just a question of how hard do we think these are. So I could, in theory, go back to the Meteor Island, just to see how hard it is. What I'm gonna do, chat. What I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna go ahead and park. Let's save over here. Actually, I'm gonna save up here. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna see what one of those bonus boss battle things are like and how hard they are. We could get an idea because and if we beat it, we beat it. And then, you know, we can make a decision for next time. But I wanna make sure that we are. 
basically good to go. I don't want to do all of them. I'm just going to pick one of the ones arbitrarily on my list, just to get an idea how tough these things are. <laughs> I could go to Mount Chug Chug's one first, just to get it off the list. Although I'm struggling to remember exactly where Mount Chug Chug is, because it's not like on a mountain, it's like a side, it's adjacent to the mountain, but not the mountain itself. That was south of us. It's like here? Yeah, there we go. Look at that, chat. I did that without the world map. That, that was testing memory, chat, right there. Let's see, how hard is this? She plays the Kirby theme. Look at them flapping, they're so happy. Vortex Monster Brothers, Zyklis and Zetra. Oh boy, how hard is this? We're gonna start off with the heal. Let's see how much damage they do afterwards. I'm gonna try stealing an ability from them. They went first. That's not a good sign. How much damage are they gonna do? Holy! They did that much damage to Hello? Oh yeah, we're not ready. <laughs> right, chat? We are not ready. Holy. 500 damage, that's it? We may be in trouble. Oh boy. Is this gonna be the party wipe right here? Jeez. Uh, well, let's build meter, I guess. I mean, I have to first aid every turn or I'd lose. The fact that he goes twice here kind of sucks. I don't think this will kill me. Oh, it bare. No, they went back to back. Okay, now it's over. GG. Never mind. They went back to back. GG. Holy, when they kill remote, yeah, it's that's ridiculous. We don't say we don't say a chance at all. But welcome, remote battery. I mean, chat. They killed Hello. That's all I have to say. Something actually managed to kill Hello. Holy. Yeah, we're gonna come back here in like five levels, so we have enough HP. Jeez. Love that judge emote. Nice. Hell no, I'm not continuing. <laughs> I'm like, what do you think I am? Stupid? I'm not continuing that. Screw that. No thanks. Wow. So, max magic defense hello got two shot by spells. That's crazy. Murphy's just in time for the end of the stream. <laughs> I'm literally wrapping up. We saw the bonus boss is hilariously too strong. That is... I mean, they one-shot hello, Chad. I don't have anything else I really want to add to that statement. Eventually, we're going to switch into this. So, like, keep... Oh, but that gives us lower magic resistance. Damn, they killed him through 362? That's monstrous. He has, like, one of the best... Yeah, he has, like, the best of the best possible. Unless we find more gear for him in the next dungeon. I'm not seeing what we would do too differently here. Um, is there any one last thing I want to check? I guess I could check the skills again real quick. So we are definitely not ready for Mount Chug Chug. Could get him advancing guard, but I think I should eventually give him physical defense up. Yeah, I kind of regret not taking defense up over critical. I... Even though we wouldn't have been able to max physical defense, the fact that it reduces by, like, what looks like almost, like, 80% is kind of insane. But oh well. Just get to live free to some extent there. But nothing else we could do there. And... I need something to lucky card, so hopefully the next couple dungeons will burn our lucky cards up. Yeah, I think we'll save that for next time. So let's chat. So we found something that can finally kill Hello. <laughs> I, 
I didn't think that was going to happen anytime soon, but uh, wow. The fact that it, it's straight, they straight up killed him from 100% health. So there's not very much I could do about that other than level more. So if we get two more levels on him, I think he'll survive because they did a total of 3,900. He has 3,600 health now. Plus his stats will slightly increase, which will hopefully bring down the damage. Then the other characters need to get way, way tankier. Thesaurus can survive. So Thesaurus is not an issue, but I'd probably be forced to play with Bashley in order to survive. So getting one or two more levels there also helps. The fact that this Thesaurus went from dealing about 1400 on a crit to maybe like 1100 on a normal attack to only 500 on the boss shows how tanky those are. Unfortunately, there's basically no way Vicky 2, if Polo can't survive, there is no way Vicky 2 will be able to armor down or do anything useful. But it might be worth going into those boss battles and replacing our crests with the ability to lower their defense. Maybe that would be worth it. Just get rid of one of our lightning crests. Could be worth. Hopefully the next boss we fight doesn't just reflect magic, because I would like to uh, actually just kill them instantly with our lightning crest. But we'll see, I guess. But anyway, we made a... Uh, we started a bit late, but I think we did a pretty decent session here. So let's pause here. We'll do more plot stuff next time. And then I think by the time we get towards the end of the game, we're going to hopefully have enough levels for the bonus boss. We have several cards to use. Sadly, there's not like an arena to easily use them on. I kind of missed that from Wild Arms 1. I wish they did another battle arena kind of thing. But oh well. So hopefully in the next two or three dungeons, we'll be able to gain two levels across every character by doubling the boss XP. Because we're getting, what, I think 18,000 from the bosses. So 3,600 should be a level up by itself. And doing that on at least three bosses should give us two levels. So I'm hoping that combination of things will make us just strong enough to survive those kinds of things. But we are just being hard stat checked. There, I don't think there's an alternative to this. We just die if we don't do it. So we'll we'll do that next time. But for now, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point, the video of the bot, I'd like to say thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time.